All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Toronto with Leaf Johnson Ford. Today, I've got a little treat for you guys because I've never actually seen one of these cars in person. Now, if you know a little gentleman by the name of Vaughn Gittin Jr. Formula Drift Pro Champion, then you might know of his brand called RTR, which stands for Ready to Rock, and they make some pretty sick Mustangs. So let's check this one out. All right, guys, I'm introduced to my friend Isaac, and he's gonna talk all about his RTR Mustang. What's up, Isaac? How's it going? Hey, man. So, this is my RTR Series 1. It's number 244 out of the 500 that they made in the world. So they made, so it's a spec one or? Series one. Series one. Yeah, so okay. they, made, they made 500 of them. Uh, this one is what I like to call the Series 1 wide body. I added the wide body kit on with, with help from my dad. Uh, it took us about a day, so. Yeah, and it's all plastic dip by my buddy Jason, just the dips. Okay, so real quick, let's get back to this wide body. It's yeah. Pretty, it's pretty rad. Um, so you got the wide body from RTR? Yes, it is an official RTR wide body kit. So everything on the car except for the wing, the side skirts, and or the side rocker panels, and the taillights are all RTR. So we've got the RTR fiberglass uh, fender flares. And how wide are these? Like, do you know by mill? So they're three inch on the rears. Or they add three inches on the rear and two inches up front. Okay, so three inch in the rear, two inches up front, and yes. I see you're rocking the Nitto 555s. Yes. And what size Nitto, tires are those? Uh, they're 305s in the back and I think 275s up front. Okay, so you got plenty of meat. Yeah. You got plenty of meat. So you and your dad did the wide body kit. Correct. Uh, what about those canners right there? I see. So we also did these. They're they're not official RTR. Uh, I got them made by a buddy over in South Carolina. Um, okay. I painted red. them green because well turtle media so yeah um, but yeah we have the green uh, canards up in the back and up front these don't really do much for aero but the ones up front are super aggressive if you want to go look yeah, at those check these out and so what's rtr on the front pretty much everything except for these except for these canards yeah okay yeah i thought those kind of came with it but i wasn't quite sure yeah no that's with the spec 5 10th anniversary but like i said i got my buddy to make those so i was like can you make me a pair? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are the new RTR uh, grill lights. Um, they're kind of dark, so they don't really, you can't really see them in, in the day, like the videos that he got will show you. Yeah. Uh, we got the custom turtle badges because my Instagram, Turtle Media, so I wanted to do something with turtle. But I didn't want to 100% copy the Spec 5 badge, so I was like, I'll do something custom. Yeah, no, it looks really good, man. What about, uh, uh, or keep going? No, you go ahead. Uh, what about like performance wise? So performance wise, I have a K&N cold air intake. I have a little bit of a tune. I have a Borla X-Pipe Flowmaster Axleback. Uh, it makes about 500 horsepower. I don't know the exact numbers because I haven't dyno tuned it yet. Okay. But your butt dyno tells you it's like about 500. Yeah. <laughs> like it feels like about 500. It feels about 500, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you've got the full, I mean, super aggressive car. It looks absolutely sick. It looks beautiful. Do you do any kind of rowdy stuff with it or? Nope, it's my show car. I mean, every once in a while I'll drive fast, but that's pretty much it. And best part about this car and this car show is this is where I bought this car about two years ago. So. Oh snap, so you bought this car at this dealership? Correct. That's awesome, man. And when you bought it, cause you said your friend, just the dips, did dip the vehicle. Yeah. Um, what color was it? It was the dark metallic gray. Okay. So. I don't remember exactly what the name is. I think it's like magnetic, magnetic gray or something like that. Okay. But yeah, I love it. Um, I have no complaints. <laughs> yeah, no complaints. I mean, for dip, it's it's holding up. I know they do a great job. We have another vehicle out here that's got just the dips, the uh, big Bronco over there. We'll talk about that in another video though. And uh, any other interesting facts about you, your car, your media? Um, well, it looks banged up. I do daily it. Oh, so, you daily this car? Yes, this is my daily driver. 
So it's your daily show car. Yeah. Okay, that's all. I, I give you mad respect for that because I don't even <laughs> daily my nice car in the least bit. Yeah, I've seen people who have RTRs and they're like, oh, I only take it out on weekends or oh, I only take it out to super special events. And it's like, you bought the car to enjoy it. So here I am with my daily one of 500 RTR Mustang. That's awesome, man. And I did ask you if you drifted because, of course, the RTR Mustangs and Bonga and Junior is known for drifting. And you informed me that you are, in fact, building a drift car. Yeah, I'm building a 1986 Fox Body drift car. Um, it's still a work in progress. I'm planning to get um, rear suspension fixed, not fixed, uh, replaced for a SN95 rear axle. God, I can't words today. <laughs> you, should... you could, you do, you wait, you. <laughs> you should words today. It's all right. It's early, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm planning to get the SN95 rear axle into it. I'm gonna do some modifications to that. I have the whole suspension kit. I have the front completely finished already. Uh, I'm doing the rears. I'm gonna put a roll cage in it because that's necessary. Handbrake, all the good drifting stuff. And that one is a old 302 cubic inch engine. So I'm in love with that thing. It sounds awesome. Oh yeah, those do, those do really sound good. Throw a set of GT40 heads on there and it really starts screaming. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So I want to ask you one more question, yeah. right? Because we talked about the wide body kit. And I, of course, you know, in the wide body realm, when you wide body the car, especially to fit uh, more aggressive wheels and bigger tires, you usually got to cut the car. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So did so, you cut the front? Did you cut, I cut the, rear? the rear? I cut the fronts and the rears. So this car is cut? Yeah. You hear that internet? He cut his car. But I mean, if they come from RTR, they have to clearance that anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so they have to cut it either way. So, I mean, it's either I do it or I get a dealership to do it, which would probably take months. <laughs> hey, 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 watch out now. <laughs> Them fighting words. <laughs> we do stuff quick around here. No, I'm joking. No, nah, like at a body shop, it, it would take a long time because yeah. they never, body shops don't do stuff. Yeah, I mean, they do the opposite. They fix cars. They don't cut them up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and I mean, I never really thought about asking a dealership. But that's just because I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna, what my dad says, if I'm gonna mess up my car, I'm gonna do it myself. Yeah, mess it up yourself, exactly. Yeah. And the reason why I asked that is because when I was looking, when I was filming earlier, I was kind of looking in the wheel wells and everything has a really nice finish to it, right? Yeah. It doesn't really look chopped up. So you have like RTR fender liners in there or something? Or? Yeah, there's there's fender liners in the back part of the front fenders and in the in the rears, there's nothing. We just welded the, the original fender right. well, whatever or the quarter panel well, whatever it is, the wheel well. Um, that's what it is. We, we cut little lines into it and just banged it up into the, hey, there's Jason. You cook. But yeah, so we cut the, the wheel wells and the rears in like little lines like they usually do for wide bodies and stuff like that. And we just hit it, but they, they don't recommend that, but we did it. Yeah, I mean, you can also use seam sealer and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, we did that. Uh, okay. They they recommended just getting another plate of steel and putting it there, but we don't we don't have that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. I mean, no worries, man. The car looks absolutely sick. We love it. We appreciate you for coming out, bringing your crew out here. Yeah, no problem. And uh, showing off this beautiful car. So, show's getting packed right now, and uh, we got to get you staged up before before the rest of the show. Yeah, so again, I gotta wipe it down. <laughs> <laughs> you still gotta wipe it down. So yeah, what was your social media again? So my social media is underscore turtle media underscore on Instagram and YouTube. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And yeah. did you video any of the process building this car or no? Yeah, I did. It's actually on my YouTube channel. Okay, awesome. So yeah, if you guys wanna see the process of him taking his RTR Mustang to this level, definitely check him out on YouTube. And just for reference, we're gonna show you right here. It's at turtle media. So you can check it out and follow his drift build, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's also being on my Instagram. I'm not doing too much crazy stuff about posting it because I want it kind of be a secret. Like, well, what is going to come out looking like. So I'll show what it looks like now. But like once I'm done getting it plastic dipped, I'm not going to show that. And I'm not going to do any more posts on it until I get it fully revealed. So. All right, man. I respect it. Well, I appreciate you very much, dude. Yes, sir. And uh, go enjoy the show. Yeah, I definitely will. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video for our car show here at Leaf Johnson Ford. We're still the leader. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you smash that subscribe button or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.